Welcome back, friends. This is in Dog. We are actually going to do um, some variations of the rigs we've been using to uh, catch Saith, which has really been incredibly lucrative. Um, so we're going to try it again. We're starting overnight, which is a little different. So we're going to use this rig overnight see we're kind of featuring the dark foam rubber fish we've got a variety of colors here with two hot hooks uh, now this is just to get us to overnight to try to have as good a bite rate as possible in the overnight hours in the daytime we're using a completely different setup that's got a perking um, uh, lurker lure and then really focusing on green with one yellow so a little different daytime versus nighttime Nighttime, the bite rate slows down. In my opinion, unless you make some changes to your approach, uh, I like going more with a jigging rig at night, and I find that that tends to sustain the bite rate um, a little better than just sticking with your same setup for daytime. But hopefully the safe are still popping off like they have been in, uh, in recent days, and I just thought we would give this another run um just see if we can still average about you know 50 or so fish in this hour so let me turn my light on see if that does a little better the lighting just looks dark right now let me just do this and we will start happy hour oh, this is uh to me it's just some of the most fun fishing uh this 34 meter hole and the safe just popping off. And you never know what else you might catch. Um, so we're doing a 60 kilo line. Really, that's a that's overkill for the Taiga C. But, you know, it does have a heavy enough break that if we needed to, we could lock it up like that. So we'll do that just to be kind of on the safe side. All right, we're gonna just let it drop to the bottom. We hope, especially during the daytime, that we get a reasonable amount of bites on the drop but um, not sure what nighttime will hold for us here all right so off to a start we'll see how good the start is in just a moment yes very nice we're on the board and actually well I'll, I'll look at it once we get our daytime setup up. I may actually put a gummy eel on our daytime setup. <sighs> I don't know. I've got it on good authority that occasionally the really big safe will um, go after some of the gummy eels. But in my limited experience, when I put a gummy eel on my drop shot, it tends to not perform very much. It just kind of slows the bite rate down which the bite rate is so good that we can do that, but I'm not sure if there is a payoff. We'll see. See how we're feeling. See how the overnight treats us. As long as we can keep doing this overnight, then that sets us up for a really good start. The bite rate will just increase during the day on these safe. And there you go, 89.1. The bite rate is so good. I mean, it's kind of like the old mackerel spots, except bigger fish. But I seem to be, be getting points on the um, on uh, marine fishing just as often as when I was doing it with mackerel. All right, I'm only going to keep keepers or things that we can turn into bait. We're not going to we're not going to count total fish if it's not something that's worth keeping. This is a smaller setup. We've got two hot hooks instead of three hot. Um, so, you know, on average, we may see a little smaller fish at night, but on this night setup, but we're just looking for bite rate to get through the evening. It 
this. I'm not going to even worry about seeing how much all these safe are worth. You can just, if you saw my last video, you know, if we get around 50 safe on average, that's going to be between 600 and 800 silver. I mean, I've done it multiple times now. It's, it's pretty consistent. Hey, if we get a cod, we do want it to be a marker cod like that. That only uh, increases the amount of silver we'll end up with. So we are fine with that. trying to think of something creative we could put on that third maybe I'll look at a regional like USA region other region on safe see if something just stands out um, just to mix it up I've done this enough now where I'm every time I do it I try to just mix it up a little bit see how the slight variation goes You'll notice I'm using the Lurker 200 now instead of the Lurker 100. And again, that's just something I changed just to like try to average a little bit bigger fish. Bite rate still seems great. So, all right, let's go see US Weekly. All right, safe. So like this, Real Squid 26. How brave are we? Let's see if there's a fish on. All right, there's not. We'll do it on the next drop. It's about to hit the bottom. We'll look at the other region. There you go. If we don't have to lock it up, we'd rather not. We are definitely overwhelming this rig a little bit. I mean, it can handle it, but. We'll wait till about 4, 4.30 to switch to our daytime rig. Nice safe. All right. Uh, C records, weekly, other region, and safe. A lot of what you see is the result of people targeting other fish, and you're just seeing the random, the random results. You know, I, I don't know that there's anything there that... It makes me think, yeah, that would be worth putting on our drop shot. Um, I mean, maybe a squid, but not, not the big squid. That doesn't make sense to me. Not in this spot. Not since I'm not using my big setup. There's a safe that will be bait. So that might be, uh, is that big enough for, no. All right, so we'll do this. This is such a light rig, like I can't tell when it is um, really on the bottom or not. It feels about the same when it's in the bottom layer versus lifted out. It doesn't have that normal dip that heavier rigs do. Ooh, that is a tiny sculpin. All right, what time is it? 3.34. So we've got another... Um, cast or two viva la france 
Oh, what's that? 2105, huh? 800, 400. Okay, 1601. Now something like that is more tempting. 1601, like on a five aught hook. Does it slow the drop down a little bit? Just trying to think of the negatives. There's a safe. All right, I think this will be the last cast and then we're switching over. 1601. We could try that. We could do the 1201 too. Okay, we'll switch it over. We did good. Seven keepers overnight. Can we hit 50 though? I probably, we might not hit 50 because we are using a slower. We've got that 200, Lurker 200. You know, we've changed up the drops a little bit, a little larger hooks. I mean, we may not hit 50, but on average, we might have a little bit larger fish. That's a beautiful save. All right. So what I'm thinking is we try a, ooh, I wish I had 5-0. All right, 6-0 hook and yeah, let's just try it. All right, so this is the rig we're using now. We have drifted a little bit. We probably ought to reposition. But we'll cast one time. All right, so now we gotta every once in a while just kind of notice, especially if it's a if it's a non-safe, notice what lure it's coming in on. Point six safe. We want to go basically just north a little bit. All right, foam rubber fish. Pollock, 89.2. You love to see the Pollock and you love to see the points. Question is, what's it on? Foam rubber fish 01. So that's actually the yellow one. So there's two questions. Will we catch something on the Lurker 200? Will we catch something on the natural squid? Uh, these <laughs> handmade foam rubber fish catch safe so fast that um i don't know we could we may, may we may we may not natural squid there you go all right so that's 1201 so now maybe we maybe we push it a little bit to the next higher size squid so that squid did get us a safe but kind of a normal size safe like everything else is catching us
This is something we're not used to seeing. Any kind of bite that takes that long is unusual in this spot under these conditions. All right, we're at 10 fish. I don't know what to say right now. I just haven't seen a place at 34 with this kind of setup. I hope that doesn't mean that the safe are starting to chill out because they've been so quick to the bite that nothing else has had time to really, except for occasional like Pollock or Cod or something. I mean, it's still pretty early. It's 6.09. But this is a little weird. Maybe we switch to this rig too quickly. All right, we need to supercharge this a little bit. Boy, that's just weird. I don't know. It's hard to describe how weird that is. Just based on like how we've been doing here. I think it might be time of day though. We'll see, we'll see how it plays out. I'm not sure, like, I think some hours that I've been fishing for safe at this spot, I might not have any sculpin at all. Although I do think I trophied a sculpin. Was that in this spot? I can't remember now. It might have been. This seems like a safe, strong at first, and then sort of loosens up a little bit. to cod I mean that's good for silver sixteen minutes thirteen fish we are way slower right now than we usually are now we started overnight I gotta remember that During the day, it's like usually two to four fish per minute here. I think I'm going to take that squid off. Just in case it's like making it fall weird or something. I don't think it is, but... Let's, uh, let's put, let's do this. Let's do the, um, you know, go big or go home approach.
Now, if we catch, so that, that mackerel was on lurker. So that's one benefit of putting the lurker 100 back on. It's a wider range of fish we're likely to catch where the lurker 200 or even bigger that we've used earlier kind of locks us in a little bit more. I think that's actually too small. Yeah. Oh, I should have looked to see what that even was called on. I mean, I guarantee it was foam, but. All right, can this one be a safe? Well, I guess it doesn't matter. I mean, cod's actually worth more. I just kind of have an eye on safe when I'm in this spot, but this is a nice fish if it's a safe. It's a good fish if it's a cod. cod again definitely feeling the cod move in which again I'm fine with it does just kind of change things a little bit let's see that was on the foam rubber fish 003 Ooh, there we go that's what we're used to quick bites on the drop let's get our fish per hour average up there you go that's what we want Oh, oh, one. The oh, one's doing good. I, um, the best hours I've had was when I had all three spots on the drop were 03 foam rubber fish. But again, I'm just, I like mixing things up. So I've gotten away from doing that. It might not be quite as good, you know, but it's fun. It's fun to switch it up a little bit each time. That's a nice safe. Anything close to 10. You'll notice that every time it hits the water, I'm closing my bale and then opening it again. It seems to fall, drop in the water a little faster if you do that. So the only reason why I'm doing that is just to kind of speed the drop up in case we end up, uh, you know, having to wait for it to hit the bottom. So close, open. I mean, that's what I'm talking about. That's, that seven was so shallow on the drop, like, these were within seconds of each other. That's when it's amazing when it's just like fish after fish like that. Let's watch the drift here. Foam rubber fish 01. I think there's about an 80% chance that we don't catch a single fish on that gummy eel the whole time. But even if that happens, the bite rate is so good. 89.3, love it. The bite rate is so good, like we don't really need that drop position. Even if we don't catch anything on it. That was the 03, nice 1.2 sculpin. If we're gonna catch a sculpin, of course we want it to be a trophy. Trophy sculpins are worth a ton. Non-trophy sculpins, I mean, it's really got to be on the bigger side to be worthwhile silver-wise. Oh, nice mackerel. Love to see a mackerel over a kilo. So what did that go for? Foam rubber fish 01. The 01 killing it right now. How good would it be to have 01s on all three slots? 
Maybe that's the question. You notice our fish fish per minute has totally spiked now that we're into actual daytime. We're up to 20 fish. I guess let's see out of how many minutes. What's a realistic goal here? We've got the rest of the day. I don't know. Let's see where we're at. 23 minutes. 21 fish. I still think we might hit 50. 50 keepers. We'll hit that slow. It'll slow down starting around 1 o'clock. It'll be a little harder to find a bite, but then it's not too bad with this setup. Cod or safe, right? Could it ever be a cusk? Yeah, I was gonna say sometimes that big bouncy bouncy. Uh, unfortunately, that's the sign of a cusk. Not unfortunately, it's fine. But all right, so I don't know. Let's see how the quality of the fish seems. We could reposition, but it's actually seemed pretty good in this little corner of the of the bank. So I don't want to leave it leave this spot too quick. There's a nice safe. So we're getting pretty good variety of fish. It does feel like more variety than I'm used to recently. Could it be something other than a sculpin? Like, this is the size where you just hope it's a whiting or squid, crab, something. But in this spot, probably sculpin. Ooh, forget about the eel pout. So that's not a marker, but that's better than sculpin. Even the non-marker is more XP than some sculpin. All right, 23, huh? We are barely hanging on to the bank. I'm going to reposition. We go two small ones like this in a row, we're going to reposition. All right. Hmm. Does that look familiar? 
Does that look familiar to anyone else? Small safe. All right, let's go. On the safe again. We're at 24 and 27. A slow, steady pull here. What have we got? Oh, that's a nice place. I'm telling you, silver actually is a little bit potentially like better than what I'm used to, even just because we've gotten a few money fish mixed in with our safe or better money fish compared to the safe, but the safe add up because the bite rate and the size we're catching. So not to put down the safe at all, but we're just, we're hitting some other stuff as well between those cod and place. I do feel like it, the safe have chilled just a little bit we're hitting the bottom with the lure a little more often than what I'm used to. Might be an argument to put a third drop shot back on. I don't know. This is small. By the way, while it's dropping next time, we need to see what the last couple fish have been called on. Make sure we hadn't had a weird gummy, gummy connection. Hey, there's a eel pout that's actually a marker that's cool we'll take that all right eel pout was on 01 place lurker that's always cool 03 for the last safe 03 for the safe before that and the cusk was only 01 so very interesting once again it looks like we may hit the bottom here yeah, we're just not uh, not seeing the frequency of bites on the drop. What have we got here? All right, bring those safe in. Uh, I know we said we were gonna go big or go home, but, excuse me? fish I 
I'm tempted to just like put those gummies on all three drops and then change the uh, main lure to something bigger and just see if we can eventually hit a nice safe on the gummy. But I don't know. I don't want to ruin our um, our end goal here of can we hit 50. But I mean, as I thought, that gummy's just not doing anything. You've probably just got like a tiny chance of that thing hooking into something nice, but everything else is hitting stuff so quickly. It's not likely. I'll tell you what else isn't looking likely. I don't know. 50. Fifty fish is looking O one. Man, I've been impressed with that O one. Favorite carp. Gosh. That's a good question. Uh welcome to the uh channel, whoever you are, Walk Sipper. I don't recognize the name. Level twenty nine, interesting. Um Favorite carp. I'm going to say buffalo. I'm assuming buffalo counts. It's a carp species, right? All right, that is not a keeper, unfortunately. Although it might be. Yeah. It is a huge fillet. It's really picked up a little bit. Now this isn't the same quality as some of the other fish I've caught recently, but we're getting a little bit increased bite rate, it seems like. O one, O one. So O ones target mackerel better than O threes. They still catch safe as well, but they target mackerels a little better. We'll take a 1.4 Pollock any day. 31 fish, 35 minutes. We're still on pace. Pollock on O3, Saith on O1. Sun is out. Eighty nine point four. Holy cow. Gangbusters. Foam rubber fish O three.
All right. Nice. We can do four, right? No, I think three is the biggest we can do, if I'm not mistaken. All right, we're going to try a red one. Just for fun. Live on the edge a little bit. Throw in red. There's a card. Interesting. All right. Where are we on the map? We're good. We're 36 and 39. We're good on that too. What? Don't tease me. There she is. Small. What was the first one? It was so quick. What is this? A little mackerel or something? It's like on the drop too. Yeah, it is a mackerel. All right, let's see. Mackerel hit the two. Cod hit the lurker. All right, so we're three, two, one. So that two immediately called a cod. Red, red foam. We're at 37, about to be 38. Eight. Ooh, nice mackerel. Holy cow. That's off the three this time. Uh, which is the green one. Unexpected. Place are moving back in. What was that on the O2? Okay. Yeah, we're at 40 and 41 minutes. We've slowly picked up the pace across the daytime hours compared to nighttime and we're back on track. Just good fishing, really good fishing. That's 41, 41 and 42. Whoa. Yeah, we got, this gotta be a mackerel if we want it to be a keeper. All right. 
42 and 42 it should be yeah 42 and 43 it changed over are the mackerel coming back in force they really are the lure is broken all right go team we crushed them same time That feels like a safe. So is this 44 and 44? and 44 I would imagine yep 44 and 44 so that's that's we're back on track I mean if you average a fish a minute a keeper a minute in this spot you're doing great like I said you, at times you'll get two even up to three or four fish a minute when they're popping off on the drop but you'll also go through the overnight and then sort of the afternoon where it'll slow down a little bit Nice safe. So that does put us at 45 and 44, but it'll switch over soon. Playing with house money. You really don't want to stop it. As soon as you see, you know, that it's in the bottom layer, it's a temptation to go ahead and stop it and start perking. But if you just let it drop that last couple of meters, a lot of times you'll hit, have it fish hit it in that last drop part. Pollock, 89.5 marine fishing as well. Wow. This has been a huge session in a lot of ways. Silver, fun, marine fishing skill points. XP has been nice. And we're about to hit 47 fish in probably 45, 46 minutes. Feeling safe? Another nice safe. If I remember, I'll try to update how much silver all this was worth. Um, as a uh, pinned message or under the description or something. I've just kind of got plans on where I'm going to go fish next or I would go back to town to check it out. I just don't want to go back to town right now. Even though we'll wrap up this video shortly. Alright, so we are at 47 minutes and 49 fish we're about to hit 50 which you know it's just kind of the goal you want to make sure you hit 50 in this hour we're going to have a no problem
Pollock. And that's why, in my opinion, like, this is just some of the best in terms of consistency and a really, like, nice amount of silver. Some of the best fishing ever in RF4. And, yeah, you can go, like, hit it big in other spots here in Norway. And you make might, you may might you might make a lot more silver in any given hour, but you'll also have the down hours, the inconsistent or less consistent. There's some real upsides to just like the safe targeting safe or mackerel and then getting a few other species mixed in. You're not doing a ton of damage to anything. It's just fun and it is really good silver. Wow. Nice mackerel. This is fun. I have not had the mackerel like this the past couple days, three, four days when I've been doing this off and on. The mackerel coming back in without having to use shrimp to get them is uh, that's, that's, that's a little different. Which means if you do use shrimp on your drops you're probably killing it on mackerel right now Ooh, that's not a keeper that is not a keeper so we're at 52 and 50 A weird one probably sculpin oh it's a place but it's too small good good XP for the size though considering it wasn't a marker so that non marker place I'm trying to remember because I did a leveling episode earlier that non-marker place i think was more xp than a might have been like a two kilo bream something like that the xp is insane out here of course the silver is too Oof. Might even be too small to be a mackerel. At least it hit it early. That would have been sad if that had been at like 20 meters. Or 30 meters. going to start slowing down again as we come into the front end of overnight oh man these pollock are great look at all these oh 
I don't know that I would have guessed we'd have that many more Pollock than Cod based on my recent experiences here, but we've had like we haven't had a bunch of non-marker cod, which is sometimes what happens here. You get like three or four non-marker cod mixed in. You don't really want that. All right, so how much time do we have left? 50, we got like seven minutes. We're at 56 of 53. I think we switch back to our um, I don't know, this one's still pretty much killing it, but I don't want to wait too long. Let's switch back to our other one. Ooh, nice mackerel at the bottom, too. All right, so we're running black, yellow, blue, green here. Eighty nine point six, you're kidding me, that's amazing. Looks like we might hit sixty fish at least. Look at this. We got those the night setup going. Drops a little slower, doesn't it? Interesting. I don't know. This might not be a keeper. It is a keeper, just barely. All right, that's 55 minutes, 60 fish. Some late night mackerels or whatever. Wow, it's safe actually. So that might be, that might be a nice, uh, yeah. Always love the huge fillet, right? We might be stuck at 60. <laughs> that might be just what we're supposed to have right now. I mean, I'm not sure exactly what's happening here though. This is our night setup. It's usually not this hard to get a bite. Do we finally just clean this place out? Okay.
Look at that cod. All right. That is 58 minutes. So we probably have time for one more cast. I mean, unless it hits on the drop. Happy hour should end and our 60 minutes should end any, uh, any minute now. Man, what a good session. It just kind of, it just never really gets boring out here to me. When, oh, <laughs> that scared me. All right, when the fishing's this good, it just, I'm just into it, you know? Let's get one more fish here if we can. Eel pout or sculpin, I'm guessing. Oh, it's a nice little, nice little way to go out. Okay, hey, listen. As always, thanks for watching. Uh, yeah, let me know. Have you been have you been killing it out here on Safe as well? I hope you've been uh, getting some good some good time in with the safe but uh as always thanks for all the support for watching this and i will see you next time tight lines everybody